Welcome to the course Introduction to Communication Science. My name is Dr. Rutger de Graaf and I'm a lecturer here at the University of Amsterdam, the Department of Communication Science. We're standing in a beautiful courtyard of the 17th century headquarters of the Dutch East India Company at Oost in Nieshuis. And in this historical landmark, over 150 scientists study and teach the science of communication. This course is a so-called MOOC. This is a new trend of online courses, initially designed by Stanford and MIT. A MOOC stands for a Massive Open Online Course. It's massive in the sense that it's open to a potentially much larger audience than our normal courses, which are of course limited to the available space in a classroom. A MOOC is completely open, which means it's free of cost and designed so that everyone, also without any specific experience in the field, can enter. Finally, all our lectures, class materials, self-evaluation tests and exams will be available through an online portal. This, of course, gives new options to our teaching environment. For instance, you can download all captions. Also, additional links and tips for further content will be offered at the end of each class. Next to this, there's a small community in which you can ask questions or share your thoughts on this week's content. And to test your recall and understanding of each topic, I will often add some multiple choice questions that you can use for self-evaluation. We will cover some of the basic theories, models and concepts from the field of communication. On this first class I'll talk about the scope of our field, uh, what exactly is communication and how does our discipline relate to other studies like sociology and psychology. In future weeks we'll discuss the history of communication theory. Obviously people have been communicating since the dawn of man. But when and why did communication theory arise? After that, we'll use three dominant approaches to the field to discuss our topic further. Firstly, we'll look at communication as a means of persuasion, both from a political and a corporate angle. The second perspective is that of communication processing, which is simply put how we give meaning to a message. The final part of this course will focus on social and cultural aspects of communication, like group dynamics and audience formation.